Hi, this is Mark Mancini from VRB Outstanding. This week, while this episode airs, I'll be driving 13 hours down to the Keys, but this episode is about the two most important things you must master and have for your short-term rental in order for you to be successful. So stay tuned. So welcome back. In this episode, we're going to go into the two things that really can make or break your short-term rental. And when I mean make or break, I mean, number one, what's going to get you bookings? And number two, what's going to get you five-star reviews each and every time? There are some key things, but really the two things we're gonna talk about are right here in this episode. So first, we're gonna talk about pictures, all right? The most important thing about pictures, you have to get through your head. You must hire a professional. This is an investment. You spent thousands of dollars decorating your house, putting in these comfortable beds, and doing other things that really you want your guests to appreciate, whether it's a coffee bar, some pool uh, specialties and, and, and amenities and so forth. But if you don't show that in the best light, they're not gonna come see all those and appreciate all the work you've done. So the important thing is to get the pictures that are gonna make people click through there and go to your booking. Now, one of the things I tell everyone in my course and all my students know this in vrboutstanding.com is that I ask you to get professional pictures during the day, professional pictures during the night, some drone shots, and a Matterport 3D. Now we're gonna talk about each of those. The day shots, first and foremost, every single one of your photographs should have some type of staging. For instance, if you have a fire pit, the fire should be lit. Daytime or night, you can see it, you can photograph it. Go ahead and, and get that, that uh, fire pit lit. If you've got a pool table, go ahead and, and rack the balls and remove the rack, okay? You can leave the pool sticks crossed, that's a good look as well. And there are some other things too we go into that it's the little things. With the pictures, people wanna envision themselves in your home and on an excellent, above standard vacation. Now, the second thing I discussed was the night picture. We had an episode on landscape lighting and lighting for your home and making it pop. Hopefully I, I, you took some notes on that and you went ahead and you did some landscape lighting. It could be pictures of your pool lit up at night, the front of your house, your dock in the mountains, have all the lights on the inside of the house on and take a picture from the outside. It'll make your house pop like you'll never even fathom your house could look, okay? Now, the third thing too I mentioned is uh, drone pictures. Depending where you are, you can go real high if you need a bird's eye view of the area to show where exactly you are and how close in proximity you are to different attractions or restaurants, I understand that. Low flying drone pictures are ideal, especially if you have a pool, a mountain property, anything by the water. It's amazing that you can have a, a drone up maybe 75, 100 feet up in the air and looking down different vantage points of your property gives it a different effect. It's very important you get that effect. I also mentioned the Matterport 3D. Now, Matterport 3D is something that VRBO supports, and Airbnb doesn't support that yet. I'm not sure why they don't really jump into the 3D uh, tour area, but Matter uh, Matterport can be used on VRBO. You can also put it in your home uh, direct book uh, custom website for direct bookings. Now, the Matterport 3D, the great thing about that is that guests can actually walk through your home. And I'll provide a link below of the couple ones that I have on my properties. We've been doing it for several years. 
It's a must have. They get to walk through your home with the mouse. They click through little circles on the floor and they can go ahead and do a vantage point and, and scroll around the screen and see the home as they're literally walking through it. It is amazing technology. It's worth every dime because then there is no questions about the home, no questions about where they're staying. They've walked through it. And I encourage people to walk through our virtual tour so they can see exactly what they're going to be staying in for that week or two or three weeks. Now, the other thing too I want to uh, mention is the most important aspect of your, sorry about the boats going by, I try to do this later in the day, but um, uh, we, we, we always have boats going by on the waterway. Now, the first four shots of your Airbnb and VRBO listing are the most important, and here's why. Those of you may know that Airbnb had a debacle uh, earlier this summer of 2022, where they used, and, and you may not be aware of what happened here, but I was in the privy, they used AI on the photographs of the first four pictures of your listing. And that's how they categorized you. So while you may have had a pool, if you didn't have a, a good picture or any picture of your pool in the first four, you weren't ranked there. Or if the picture you had on the lake didn't show the house on the lake, you weren't put in that category. So more and more, they're using AI in photographs. And you see it on Facebook. You put something on Facebook and they use the AI to read that photograph and they know exactly what it is. So it's important that your photographs are explicit in what they're trying to show. All of our photographs that we talk to our photographer about, we go into the details of we want to make sure that Beautiful day on the after Sunday afternoon here. Sorry for the distraction, but this is life on the water. So going back to the first four pictures, you want to make sure that uh, when you talk to your photographer, you make you get your pictures done with some of the flair that you're looking for, but also give them the creative atmosphere as well. Let them go ahead and, and, and do some things, but Photographers generally are not going to stage photographs. That's gonna be up to you. So remember, roll up your towels, get a bottle of wine and some wine glasses, paint the scene, okay? Now, another thing too you'd be careful of is when you do your photographs at the pool, have all of your chase lounges the same way. Throw that rolled up towel on there for effect. Maybe put some uh, glasses on the different tables there. And you don't have to even open up a bottle of wine. Just get some food coloring and water, and there you go. You've got some red wine right there. Or green, and you've got some margarita uh, mixes and, and margarita glasses right there. So captions, let's talk about that. Captions, whether you're with Airbnb or VRBO, are very important. Every single one of your photographs has to have detailed captions. Now, some of you post some of your links on the Facebook groups and we go ahead and give you feedback on them. Many of you have no captions on there. Some of you have these captions, pool, bedroom, kitchen. Those are not properly captioning your photographs. They give you, in some of them, 50 characters. Utilize them up. So for instance, bedroom with 50 inch smart TV and adjustable bed. Kitchen with stainless steel appliances fully stocked. Pool, heated, lit, gorgeous views. Go ahead and sell the sizzle. Many of you are doing your listings and, and you're almost doing it in a crash course in, in, five, uh, in five minutes. So let's throw up pictures and throw text in there and go ahead and, and put it live. If you do an Airbnb and VRBO listing, each one should take you at least a full day. If you're doing it right, your captions need to be thoughtful. You need to use the proper adjectives and maximize. If they give you 50 characters, use all 50. If they give you 100, use 100. Okay. Be descriptive. Be descriptive. Use adjectives that sell. Use smart TV. The size of it. The size of the bed. If it's got an end suite, you know, its own bathroom. 
with the pool, again, you want to be able to let people know it's heated, it's not heated, uh, you've got a hot tub, it's part of the amenities, you don't charge extra for it. Uh, beach towels, if you've got a pool, if you've got hot tubs, I stress this in my course, always supply beach towels and put those rolled up, make a nice pyramid, put them on each chair, sell the sizzle. So with photographs, again, make sure you get drone, night, day, Matterport 3D, capture them, stage them. You must stage them. And we'll show some examples in this video. And again, their pictures is what their pictures that you provide to them. In the first couple segments, when they look at your listing, that's what gets them to click in and inquire. And if you have instant book on, they might be so inclined to go ahead and instantly book you. And that's why I'm a big fan of instant book. We're in a TikTok world, right? If people see something they like, if they have to ask a question, you have to vet them with questions and go on and on, they're gonna get tired of it and they're gonna book another property because chances are they've got two or three other favorites saved and they'll just go to that one that's easier. No objections. Put instant booking on. If they like it, have them book it. Just have your proper policies and procedures in place and that'll protect yourself. So that's the secret about pictures. I'm gonna to talk to you next about cleaners. I wanna make sure I mention a feature that is only available on VRBO and that's the ability to add a video. They're the only platform that allows this and it's great. As the potential guest is scrolling through the pictures, I believe it's around the fifth option, the fifth picture is the video that pops up. And I strongly suggest if you can invest in getting a professional video done. Now, if you don't wanna spend the money right away, what you can do is use something like Microsoft's Movie Maker or anything else like that, any kind of free apps, and string along the uh, photographs of your home with some music behind it, kind of gives it a video type walkthrough. Now, I have a couple examples I'm gonna show you that were done. One is of the Oasis. It's a video collage that was done via a drone, and it really gives a captivating and, and a total view of the property from a perspective of, of a bird. Now, the other one I have is Heart of Murata. This is a walkthrough of the home. It's very much like the Matterport 3D. It's done very well, some background music. But as you can see with both of these, in a couple minutes, the guests can see the home in a way that pictures really can't show. So something you should definitely think about doing, always add it to your listing if you can, and go ahead and watch these two videos and we'll talk more.
So remember, hit the like and subscribe button below, and we'll see you again next week when we film from the Keys.